hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is gift today's episode on gift on wraps i'll be showing you a robotic company here in nigeria and the beautiful things they're doing so let's get to meet them so this is maxwell the co-founder of terra hat six let's get to meet you my name is maxwell marika i'm co-founder and chief engineer here at Terra Haptics, uh, which is an automation company. We, our goal is to drive automation in emerging markets. And um, yeah, we just launched our factory. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can we take a look at some of the projects you have here? Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, our demonstration platforms are quite um, there. So we have our um, Archer One. We have our Archer One, which is a flagship which is a, a, a flagship ISR system for surveillance for reconnaissance and for inspection and we have our x arrow right there yeah which is like, raise it up yeah so this is it it has no way yeah it's, it's pretty light it's it's, it's flies <laughs> so that's our demonstration platform for um high speed surveillance and um, area coverage we also have our agricultural drone. You can also carry that up. And we also have our training units. So this is our UAV manufacturing um, units um, for quick assembly and manufacturing or manufacturing and assembly of our UAVs. So yeah, yeah, we are every single uh, um, every single system is being powered by our autonomy engine, which is the Artemis. Um, from our ground systems to our systems, um, our systems that operate in the sky and as well as our maritime systems as well. For core industries like energy, oil and gas, agriculture, mining, um, pipeline surveillance, fiber optic surveillance, um, things like telecommunication. Um, if you want to survey any area, any area of land within 100 kilometers, this can handle your power. That can do same, this, both of them have same, um, same use cases. But this is has better range, better endurance. That can only um, that can do around sixty kilometers. This can do around one hundred and twenty kilometers. The one, the one behind me is um. So that that's more like an R and D. Um, that's we are testing fully three D printed um drones that can be able to function in scale or in production or can function on the field. It's um um it's it's a novel idea that a lot of hobbyists try but we're looking at um, taking it to the field um fully 3d printed maybe fully 3d printed and okay so we're trying to democratize this technology and that is our trainer model let's say you order a drone from us today now if you want to teach you how to fly <laughs> that's what we use yeah and this is come on, let me show you this is our for agriculture can do up to 30 liters can do up to 30 liters you have the nozzle spray So these are the components uh, all good to go so this is the tank where you put in your fertilizer pesticide water whatsoever put this in here it's good to go and it's modular so you can put in any tank these are made for farmers for farmers people that want to spray but so far has it been um only once Okay. This is a new one, but the um, unit has already been used. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just for testing purposes, it has not been sold yet. This is a new model that we are yet to properly well, distribute. These have been sold. These have been ordered. Ordered. Yeah, we have our own reasons why we've not distributed them yet, but we have distributed our sentry towers already. It's a regulation thing. It's been sold already. Yeah. Okay. So you can see. Sentry systems room where we build our Kalon and our Duma. So that's where you cut your metal, we have our drive systems being built. You know, one thing I love about the company is that there is room for around it. So you test, you try new things out, you test them, you get them working. If they don't work, try something else, you know, but try and build as fast as possible. The goal is to build really fast, you know, build fast, build well shape. We have our ground um, vehicle being tested. 
We also have our sentry towers, you know, being... What is the head This vehicle is, a, this is currently, this is actually a cargo vehicle. Um, this carries around 500 kilograms, but we can do up to 1,000 kilograms. And as, as manufacturers, as we say, what you want is what we give you. So the better you want it, the better we give you. So you have your requirements, you give us a requirement and we build your specifications. So that's basically what we do here. Mm -hmm. And then this, what do you For surveillance, purely for surveillance. Um, there are sentry towers. Um, heights depends on what you want. This can work in oil rigs, this can work in farms, this can work in mining sites, this can work in streets. This can work in factories. You, this, we're going to be using it here. Okay. <laughs> you understand, for ourselves, because I mean, it works for that. So, yeah. Powered by solar. Yeah, solar powered. <laughs> yeah, let me power off this. Sorry. And can we meet you and tell us what Terra Haptics is all about? Hi, I am Nathan, the CEO of Terra Haptics. I'm a 21 year old software engineer and dropout. <laughs> um, Terra Haptics is a robotics, is a Nigerian robotics startup that builds low cost um, robotic systems to accelerate automation in core industries. Our big mission, as I said, is basically accelerating automation in the emerging markets such as Africa, Latin America, and so forth. And so what's special about um, Terra Haptics like, compared to other robotics already in Nigeria? Well, compared to other robotics companies we have had in Nigeria, we are an actual manufacturer. Many of these so-called robotics companies basically just kind of getting these systems here and are operators. They operate for customers. Terra Haptics is opening the first robotics factory in Africa where we'll be manufacturing um, aerial drones, ground systems and sentry, sentry systems for major core industries such as construction, agriculture and so forth. Because so far, what projects have you done? In terms of contracts? Yes, projects. Can tell, tell us about them. what you oh, Okay, so first off is the first one behind me which I'm sure you're capturing, uh, moving around. This is called the Duma. It's a multi-role unmanned ground vehicle that can be configured for several capabilities from logistics to mobile surveillance to even in agricultural use cases for farming and, um, and harvesting. Um, um, it was fully manufactured here in um, Terra Haptics and in fact it can be scaled up to produce 500 units from this factory. The next system, which is the tall tower you're seeing up there, is called the Calon. It is an autonomous sentry tower that leverages AI to detect, um, identify and track objects of interest. Um, um, basically, it's powered by solar, so it operates day and night, and it can be deployed in remote areas for, for surveillance and security, such as farmlands, oil and, oil and gas pipelines and so forth. Calon has a range of five kilometers which basically means that it can spot an intruder or a threat from five kilometers away from a static um, um, reference point. And the next and our last system which we manufacture from Terra Haptics over there at the cubicle is called Archer. Archer is a heavy duty surveillance drone which um, um, has up to four hours of, of, of flight time and can fly up to 120 20 kilometers. It's um, our most successful system so far and the one that has been sold to most of our customers since we started this company um, seven months ago. So before I said Terra Haptics, I was the founder and CEO of um, Class, which is my other company. It's um, one of the biggest edtech companies today in Africa. I started that three years ago when I was 18. Um, I had just dropped out of university and I felt I needed to solve a major problem. So I started Class, which um, powers online schools globally. Today Class has over 500,000 users and we have raised up to $1.3 million. Um, so before, uh, uh, after class, or rather, I'm still running class actually, um, I decided to also venture into this field because I felt like um, solving the automation crisis for emerging markets is not something that could wait. I couldn't wa waste another year because every single year that passes by that we do not solve the automation crisis is every year that passes by that Africa and the rest of the emerging world is losing track of the rest of the world and we won't be able to catch up at some point. So to solve um, to help grow our GDP, to help solve the insecurity issues, we needed to start this company. And that is why I said Terra Haptics um, seven months ago. And Terra Haptics is a pioneer in this industry. No one has really done it at the scale at which we're trying to do it right now from Africa. 
Um, for Terra Haptics now, the next move basically is full blown commercialization. Um, we, we look to be producing up to 5,000 units annually from this factory. Um, and we look to, of course, over the next few years, produce more systems in more domains, not just the aerial domains and the ground domains. We're eventually looking at even naval domains and underwater domains. Um, um, we are also looking at uh, potentially expanding into even cyber solutions. You know, we want to be a full multi-domain um, um, automation company that is providing solutions for, for core industries across board. And for Nigeria, I think, or rather, I hope that Terra Haptics kind of serves as an inspiration and a motivation for young Nigerians, you know, to show that we must not always be stuck with low-tech software solutions every time. Not everyone needs to start that fintech. Not everyone needs to start that pop tech. Sometimes we should dream bigger, we should dream harder, and young Nigerians can build hardware at scale. And that is something we hope would inspire a lot of builders because we have the talent. Nigerians are some of the smartest people you would find on earth. We see Terra Haptics as a company that is not just building these solutions for the Nigerian market or not just building this solution for the African market. You know, our, our mantra is manufacture in Africa, export to the world. And that is how we see ourselves, you know, we want to show the world the true definition of Nigerian engineering excellence. And we see it, um, um, exportation as as something that will be highly crucial in the success of this company. There are many ways we can help the youth in Nigeria, you know. One of that is the opening of high-skill high jobs, you know. Um, Terra Haptics is a company that has two major divisions. There is the hardware and, and robotics and there is the AI and software, you know. We, we see scaling up to um, over 100 employees by the end, by, by sometime next year. And we see that um, there would be an emergence in the interest in robotics and AI, hopefully with the emergence of Terra Haptics. You know, we want more people to, to take interest in this. We hope to work with, um, with other industry collaborators to, to have things like events and hackathons and um, ensure that the talent pipeline remains. So I think for young Nigerians, we will be able to help um, really bring them into this new nascent technology. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our page, what are you waiting for? Please do so right away. Catch you some other time. Bye.